The Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, is the world's largest producer of cobalt and Africa's largest producer of copper, but a number of issues besets the industry. This heavy load of copper cathodes has been secured on the Owo semi trailer and is ready to travel 2,000 kilometers or so from the mines in Haut Katanga, Eastern DRC, to the port of Dar es Salaam from where the cargo will be shipped to Asia. The cathodes are firmly attached in bundles, each weighing 2.3 tons. Since leaving Lubumbashi, I have spent two hours in traffic jams just to get to the Kanyanka toll. I don't even know when I'll pass the toll, maybe tonight or tomorrow, and there are always hassles during the document check. Nobody knows if the problem comes from the controllers or from other state services. Upstream of the Kanyanka toll booth, halfway between Lubumbashi and the border, more than 200 semi-trailers are at a standstill waiting to complete the mandatory formalities. There are six toll booths in 400 kilometers of this strategic route. Congo. When leaving the DRC, I have to pay $200 at the parking lot, $50 for the visa, $300 at the toll, and I have to pay the same on the way back. The Upper Katanga Transporters Guild is calling for patrols to deter criminals as well as for the number of toll booths to be halved, for prices to be capped according to the distance to be covered and harmonized between the DRC and neighboring Zambia.